All right, important town upgrades. Let's look at that first. I don't know. I'm assuming we can't all pick this from here, but I could uh, I be wrong. I think it's separate for each of us. Oh, is it? Oh, that'd be interesting. Let's find out. Um, what would be something we would all likely take? Alter? Cost of transforming cards reduced 25%. Sure. So make them try to click on alter. Tell me if it clicks it on your screen. You want me to click on the altar? Well, altar cost one. Click on it. Oh, are you in town upgrades? Yes. Oh, I, I am yes. If you're not even seeing the same screen I am, then it is all individual. No, I wasn't even seeing the screen you were on. I was right. in town. <laughs> then go to the, uh, the town upgrade section. I just want to make sure if you pick it that I don't see it on my screen. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want that, pick something else. Just tell me what you pick. Are you, are you picking altar for yours? I am. Have you already? No. Oh. I'm waiting okay. for you to pick it. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they're all individual. We all got awarded the four points, and we're each going to be able to pick our own upgrades. I'll click on altar. Okay, did that change it for you guys? Nope. Nothing happening here. Yeah, all right, so, so it's all individual, just as Apocalypse Andy says. Removing cards in the starting town is free. That sounds good. Um, I'll also take Alter. So is it you have to pick the first one and then the one below it costs three? Is that the way it works? Yes. Correct. The number shown by the box is how much it costs, but you have to do them in order from top to bottom. Okay, so this one lets you have two common cards crafted. I'm wondering if the reroll items in the town armory, because that's global between all of us, so I wonder if only one person in the group needs to take that chain. Hmm. Awesome. Maybe. I do have it already. All right, we'll find out. I'm not going to take that one for now. I'll take the more money and the forge. All right, so I did not take the cart or the armory. And I just stayed on the top row. So you did the church. I did everything. Altar. I did everything but the cart and the armory. You did the global. Okay. So yeah. Yes to the altar. Yes to removing. So you can remove them as many as you want for free. Cards. No, I don't need common cards. Divination. Oh, that's 10% cheaper. All right. Okay, I have selected three. I still have one left. Do I select one more? Up to you. I, I, Whether you want to save I, it or not. <laughs> I really don't want that one. I really don't care about that one, and I really don't care about that one. Save it, I guess. Let's check the uh, the armory next. See if uh, radar picking it lets us reset it. Oh, but it makes a difference to what could happen at the beginning of new games. Cause it's like basic divination unlocked in the starting town for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Part of the meta progression so that things get easier okay. and you get more powerful All as right. you go. I'll save those three. All right. I have spent three out of my four points, and I'm going to hold the last one. So I'm over in the armory. Do you have a button on your screen, Radar, that says re-roll? Don't, don't actually re-roll do. yet, but... I do, yes. And the items that I can see in the stream are the same items that I have in my armory. Okay. So let's review these items, and uh, once we're sure we're done here, I want to... Does it cost you to, to do the re-roll? 200 gold, and I have 480. All right. I've got 1,100, so I can throw some your way to... Cover the cost for the experiment. Uh, any particularly fun ones anybody wants in here for their character? Um, I'm not seeing anything that's better than what I have. No, I'm. <laughs> there's nothing here that's better than what I'm carrying. 
Yeah, everything looks like trash, mostly for my guy, too. Go ahead and hit the button. Let's see if everybody's updates. All right, re-rolling. Re-rolled. My screen's ah. exactly the same. Easy. All right. I'm going out and back in. Yeah, it's still the same. So it's individual to your own character. Interesting. Yeah, because now I've got completely different items. I've got the mana potion still, but a gold chain, a small pouch, cloak of evasion, woolly hat, leather boots, breastplate, and the merchant badge. But the fact that it costs 200 gold just to re-roll it. Ooh. Now that is an upgrade. What's that, the merchant badge? No, this breastplate gives me 20 HP, which is good, but increases my resistances from plus 8% to plus 18. It's very good. I can't afford it, though. How much you need? How much? 200. And then I'll be broke. Broke's not bad. Thank you, thank you. I shall get my breastplate. I'm looking at the old horseshoe. A hundred percent success in a single character event roll. Like, I don't so, think those come up too often. I'm, yeah, I was trying to figure out what one was. I don't recall one. I've seen it. I've seen one or two previously where I had a werewolf encounter and Magnus, because he was a werewolf, was had an option. Oh, so it's whenever the character has something to say. Yeah. They get the specific event. Okay. Well, I'm thinking about going back and spending the point on the armory one then. Town upgrades. Ooh, helping hand to spells shackle. Now, do you think we're going to see shackle more or insane more? I don't know. I haven't seen anything past this point. I'll do Shackle, because we've already seen it. Mm. If we've already seen it, though, we're not likely to see it again, then. I'd recommend, uh, for spending all the money, um, hitting the church and paring down your deck. We're, we're sitting at pretty high deck numbers now. Yeah, I'd but need some church, gold kicked my way. The church should be zero now. That's only in the starting area. This is the second town. I didn't interpret it that way. Interesting. It's definitely not free. <laughs> oh, wow, is it not free? Okay. All right, we need to go back to the early area so I can get this done for free. <laughs> <laughs> Next run, not this one. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely want to pair down there. Okay. Try this. Keep this.
Yeah, there's definitely a few cards I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Thank you, thank you. that All right, I think I'm good. All right, so I have a whole lot of healing options right now. Yeah, weed out the so, low-level stuff if you think you've got enough to cycle through constantly, the well, better ones. So here's what I've got. I've got that spark of life that jumps, which is a three cost. Yeah, I can see your cards. Got, oh, you can. Okay. Yep. So the spark of life. Then I've got the ray of hope. Then I've got the buffed heal two normal heals that could go i'm yeah. less enamored of the ray of hope we don't seem to be using that too often but mostly because we haven't faced much dark and mind stuff uh, and the eight heal for two cost isn't a very good ratio the courage yeah. is also not being used that. much so if you were going to yep. get rid of something i think that one should go all right so right now that's one heal then the three heals through here would give me four the bulk heal is five. The flash heal is six. Yeah. And then the healing focus is the one that lets me double it. So that's six heals. Still got just the three barriers. And then two flashes and two smites. Yeah, the barriers are pretty good. Especially, they should be cheap to upgrade as well. Um, they're already blue. Uh, then they are already upgraded. Doo -doo -doo. Yep. Um, oh. I don't know. I'm not uh, not a big fan of the flashes. You can probably go create a card to replace a flash, or both of them that you want to focus on. Are you focusing yep. on like trying to focus on holy? On have you picked like a ninety oh, percent of my damage? Everything I have is holy based. So I mean, pick, pick whatever. I mean, healings holy, desperate pair holy, holy shield of warning. <laughs> okay, so if I drop the ray of hope, then everything else down here right now is is holy. Yeah. Okay, or healing based. The only exception to that is that clarity. Maybe drop another one of the standard heals and then do whatever upgrades or go look in the craft item craft cards list and see if you can afford something that's gonna synergy well, synergize well with your other cards. In the options, I can't mess with the focus. The clarity doesn't really give me anything. The healing rain, no. But The bulk kill starts in my hand right now. 
for a two for one and a half. If I go convert them to the gold, it doesn't start in my hand, but it goes times three. If you keep your deck light, then that'll cycle through a lot more and you definitely get a much better throughput of the times three instead of having it in your hand. If we can keep our health up, the in your hand is not going to be an effect a lot of times because we're not going to be taking much damage in the first round by the time you go. Other than that, the other one I was looking at is the Spark of Life. So, I don't like the idea of the burn, but at the buff at three, this takes away the burn and bumps the damage output on it, or the heal output on it. I think the blue one would probably be the one I would take for Spark of Life. So, let me go ahead and drop the Ray of Hope first. Put that off the list. Okay, and then one of the hills. Alright, those are off. Then... So I'm at 22. So I'm looking at either the Spark of Life or the Bulk Heal, but both of them are mega crystals to upgrade. I got none to share. I'm down to 70. Oh. I got 15 shards. Yeah, that ain't going to do it. I'm talking 400 and 300. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want me to do any offensive damage, I can drop the flashes. No, it's good to have offensive damage. You've so, been, I mean, you've only been doing got the, four you, things that you've go You've been getting the killing blow in enough times that it's still good to have some, but you got holy smites and flashes. Yeah, the two holy smites and the two flashes, I mean. But he, healing and damage mitigation is still your focus, so. Yeah, unless right now, I think I'm going to buff... I think I'm going to try the Spark of Life. Try that and give it a shot. I mean, the bulk heal is good, but I really haven't been playing with it. Only two. Man. Would you leave the bulk heal at, at the two that you start with? Or... Go with the spark of life. What, what do you mean? What are you looking at? Well, I'm looking at either upgrading the spark of life, which is a 420. Getting rid of the burn and bumping the hill on it. Or, on the bulk hill, converting it over to the times three and not starting it in your hand. Uh, uh, I do the spark of life. Okay. Because the other one's already a good card, but Spark of Life Blue. Okay. So I'm at 22 cards, which is the lowest in the party. Okay. Um, I could add in... No, I like my mix. I think I'm fine. All right, I've got 200 gold and 100 crystals, because so anybody needs them. Nothing? Hmm. I will click on ready. I wouldn't mind getting rid of one of my wrens. And I can <laughs> kick you over the gold that I have left. You wanna get, if you want something, tell me how much gold you need for it and I'll send it to you. <laughs> 80 gold. Oh, that's for my tracks. Change to radar. And, yeah, get rid of the rend. Is that the axe one? Yeah, deal five damage, apply eight bleed. Although we might be facing more enemies that bleed. I'll get rid of a fast strike. Yeah. Yeah, the things that we were fighting definitely were not rend friendly. 
Hopefully. All right. I'm ready. I'm hitting the ready button. We'll do that. Then I'll give the rest back to you. Hang on to it. I don't need it. Doesn't matter Cheers. who holds on to it for now. All right. So our path is either middle or low, right? If we, yeah, we can go up and come down or go straight across the bottom. Or we yeah, do we want to hit that slope uncommon event and then go down after that to the large tent? Go upright, 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 down. Yeah, because at that slope event, the, the green book, then we have to go down if we want to hit that cult temple character event. It's yeah. fine. So we'll go middle route first. Oh. <laughs> Thorn proliferation on extreme. <laughs> uh, when a let's... hero plays a card, a random monster gains two thorns. Um, no. <laughs> but we'll get exotic equipment access that we can shop from our grave. Which we spent most of our money already. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna not take any of this. <laughs> no, thank you. Especially since we. Don't Whoa! Have All, right. All right, new stuff to think about. All right, these guys are bombers of some kind here in the back. Bombardiers. bombardiers. Brutes, raiders, and bombardiers. Brute is obviously your tank. Hey, I focused on cold damage and we're in the hot area, so that's good. Looks like range damage and cold damage. Cold and electricity. Cool. All right. Uh, ooh, we're pretty mixed up in the initiative order, too. They slotted yeah, in all around brute us. Brute only takes 40% damage. Or reduces damage by 40% for most physical. Yep. Got to get some uh, cracked armor and other things on them. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Four points. Let's adrenalize. My new and improved saw blade. Bombardiers are only at 12. Raiders at 30 and tanks at 40. Look at his hit points. Yeah. He's ready to play with you, Radar. <laughs> he is. See. I can toe get to toe. I think I'm gonna get the wizard. No, I gotta put it on the ranger because I need the. Uh, this, no, no, you still gain it regardless of who you put it on. Oh, okay. I would have put it on the wizard then. That's fine. Uh, then do that. But a dum bum. Damage and heal done plus twenty five percent. Everybody gets fast. It helped a bit. That got everybody ahead of the two bombardiers, at least. And saw blade. Let's drop it. I. What do you think, bombardiers? Put it in the back. If you put yeah. it on the very back, it would go back, middle, forward, probably, or back, middle, back. If you put it in the middle, who knows where it's going to bounce. Let's go for the far one. Good enough. And they bleed! These puppies bleed! <laughs> <laughs> they do. That's a whole lot of front monsters you got there. <laughs> yes. It's like we got a tank on tank. Great. Yeah, I think I need to mitigate my damage, so I'm going to shield bash and rend. Or do I barricade for everyone? I'm doing this regardless. Mm, I don't know. I, we don't since know we haven't, they do. We haven't I, fought these guys. Do. I would. Oh, I, was thinking. I would barricade. Let's go cautious at first. Okay, more, more shield is good. Taunting roar? Yep. The next attack has to target him. 
Ooh, and that fortified the back. Oh, and this is, this is me? Yeah. Yeah. And I got crap <laughs> across you, the board. You did get crap. <sighs> Foresight for who? Mm, one of the bombardiers. Or the front guy. Not that second, nope. not the second one. I think it'll it'll go on the brute if you cast foresight right now. Oh, it has to. Because it's uh, hot. Yeah. Uh don't about that. Heels uh I got heels, heels, and heels, which nobody needs. Nope. All Just, right. You're gonna have Who a really to good you're gonna have a really good second round with all that energy you're gonna have. <laughs> All right, uh, wizard. Here, have a scry. Eh, I should discard what the the well fed. Get rid of that stupid card. Discard the mana shield, or um, I don't know. option at this point is just to save everything. Yep. May as well. Don't worry. We're, we're about to get exploded by the bombardiers, so you'll have plenty of healing to do next round with all that energy you'll have. <laughs> Electric discharge upgrade. <clears throat> we'll deal seven damage. Remember, whatever you cast has to go on the main tank, right? Is the top? Mm-hmm. Um, One of the frost bolts? Yeah, I won't be able to do... I'd like to do the squall. It hits everything, but... That would be the only thing I would cast. <clears throat> If you do the squall, you'll only hit the middle two. The other ones have shield. And the bombardier at the very back will keep its shield at the end of this turn. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hmm. That also doesn't put up the mana shield for me if I do it that way. Man, that taunt just sticks around, does it? Hmm. Till the end of the round. Seem to be doing a lot of. Oh, okay. There's a fire buff. Okay. Somebody got a bomb put in their deck too. Being able to discard cards can is going to start getting important when they start putting negative cards in our hands. Uh, Let's take thirty damage. she <laughs> I do have the stanza. <laughs> That's funny. But I don't have enough uh, energy for all of this fun stuff. All right. Shall we just try to knock down the big guy in front? Then work on the rest? We 
Can't do anything until he's gone, so... Yeah, that taunt is forcing everything to be on the front monster anyway. I don't want to burn my sweet metal ID yet. Let's do... I think I'm going to initiate the mage. Get her back ahead of the bombardiers. Mm. Lots of transmissions and a fireball. <laughs> Zap random monster <laughs> with taunt up. <laughs> All right. So fire. Ah, damn it. Four points. That sucks. Do I drop the fireball? Only going to hit him. No, I don't drop the fireball. It's better to go frost bolt and then transmission somebody. All right. So let's transmission. If I transmission the cleric, he's going to have a million energy. <laughs> I already got a million energy. <laughs> I think I'll transmission uh, the warrior. Alrighty. What are you going to do, raider? Hmm. That's a lot of block. Oh, colossal blow. Hello. If only I could actually hit any of the ones that actually have, you know, Damage. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, Colossal Blow is going to do 25 damage to the front guy. I mean, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's, but it's uh, a big one. 30 for Bladestorm. <laughs> well, 24 with the resistances. <clears throat> then Don't I can think... do another 17. Yeah, won't quite kill him. He'll get his turn. 10, 13. Nope. Steel skin will do nothing. You got a whole bunch of damage coming in. I do. Seventeen damage now. I gain reinfer powerful. I probably should have done the powerful first, shouldn't I have? Yeah. Our rend will do bleeding. Teen. Drop him down to he'll be left with ten health, but he's still gonna go. And this way he's gonna be left with seven health I think the colossal blow is better I'll do the rend so I'm about to take 30 damage maybe you can heal me I'll do that give you an extra card you're supposed to be the one that puts up all the shields. <laughs> I know. Huh. At least he's dead on his next turn. Gee, if only I had some mana to cast the double holy smites flash. <laughs> I, then I could use all my extra mana for healing. Man, he doesn't have uh, taunt anymore. <laughs> Yay. That's true. Never so you can holy cast, smite so. something else. Divine oh. Grace, me, probably. And then probably Holy Smite that Bombardier you can hit. Unless we want to flash the, the Raider and then Holy Smite after that. Can't hit the Divine Raider. Grace first. 
can't hit the raider, at least not for the attack. He's got an evasion option. Yeah, so use use the Divine Grace first, heal someone. And then the flash will get rid of the evasion. Then you can Holy Smite after that. So flash the... Okay. Sure, that works. I don't think... I guess, yeah, for the extra card, that would be worth it. wild hunt with no marks. What are you talking oh, about? No, what are you talking about? No marks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Use the wild hunt first, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the blur last. Don't think you need the adrenaline. You have enough to cast everything. There's no reason not to cast future. adrenaline. Yeah, that's true. Energy carries over if I don't happen to use it. So. Yep. Yep. And it and I it's not. About that. I've upgraded it, so it's not a burn card. So. Ooh, nice. I, I, I want it to cycle. All right. Um. So I cannot hit the guy that's evading currently. Neither can I remove that status. Um, so front guy's dead, that guy's... Gonna Hunter's Mark, the second guy. He'll evade it, I think. Does it count as a hit? Mm-hmm. It looks mm -hmm. like it. Because the evasion yeah. is highlighted. Yeah, it is saying evasion. All right, well. Back there, then. <clears throat> Does the evasion go away if you attempt to hit him? Consume the block or the dodge or whatever it is? The evasion will go away yeah. if it's if they're Pre hit. Pre prevents one hit. Yep. And then blur and yeah. Gut Ripper. You, you ripped your guts. You like to bleed. I feel the need, the need to bleed. Yeah, that Gut Ripper's kind of nasty. Oh, it did actually go through. Well, I'm mistaken. Doesn't. Yeah. Let's intercept you, and I'm not going to waste a turn on the, the brute. Hey, your moonshot procked out of aid. Oh. 
Probably go for that bombardier, maybe. So he's got that plus eight mark. Yeah, there you go. Nice. One down. Ah, there's that bomb. There's your desperate prayer. Or the spark of life, even, because we've got a few of us that are low on health. Heal yourself for six. Oh, because of your blessed stuff. That's right. All right. This. Bomber, go in here. Thing I had all that fire resist. <laughs> oh, here we go. Follow up, colossal blow. I can do everything. Next, it costs the highest cost attack. Uh, yeah, let's kill the bombardier. Ah, I see how that works now. Yeah, should have fast struck first and then to the other one. Yep, I wasn't sure how it worked. That is my bad. Yeah, we're still going to roast him. Shouldn't be a problem. Do that, do that, do that. There we go. <laughs> Would you like an aimed shot? Go for the sorcerer next. Not really going to make a difference. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the one person that doesn't have a shield. Lots of chill application coming in. Five points, huh? Can't do them all. So I do not want to kill him. I want the cleric to get some healing in. Uh, I'll still be able to use that and it, he won't die I'm, 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 I'm not now nah, anything you hit him with is going to kill him so I'm just going to end turn all right plus if I don't kill him the the tank is next so yeah, yeah. so I don't need to worry about focus oh. heal the <laughs> scout <laughs> yeah that would be a, a pretty buff heal on the scout then you can finish him off uh, okay, I guess we will go with focus heal and the heal. I still not, have that region. Wow, not perfect, but pretty uh, good, I'd say. Guess we go ahead and drop him. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, 
Two unlocks. Coat of arms. White, white, white. Wait, I'm confused. There's no gold in the top row. <laughs> Bookworm in the bottom row. You got your upgraded mirror image. Says. Oh. So I've got a flash shield, I've got a clarity. The only one that would be interesting would be a clairvoyance to unlock, which is the, it's a uh, show cards, one from every monster. So, oh, and all monsters take five too. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, it'll be worth taking just so I can unlock it. That or the crystals. What do you think? Crystals are more effective? Because, I mean... Uh, we're gaining crystals pretty good rate. I'd go ahead and take the card if you're interested in it. Just to see how it works and right. get some practice it with just it. Just to see what we get. All right. So, off to the... Well, we can go on this one. We can go north and then east and then back south again. Three events in a row. Well, we could do that. Yep. Sounds good to me. Goblin Chieftain, he says stuff. Agree to kill the beast for them, kill them all, and loot the camp. <laughs> so we either go fight a beast or we kill all the goblins. The Goblin Chieftain, he says stuff? Oh, wait, it, it also <laughs> controls which direction we go. So we gotta, we gotta, let's see. Yeah, we gotta uh, defeat the beast if we want to go to the east. Yep. Which is what we want. All right, so yep. we're pick, taking the top one. Or what? <laughs> All right. It's it was choosing where we want to go. Oh, okay. So, so we have to go to the cave. To, now we've got the beast. He's to beat him. Okay. Got it. All right. So entrance of a cave. You can hear goblin eating <laughs> from where you are. You can hear goblin eating creature. Seems to be quite large and furious. Uh, it is up to you to go in and face the beast. Yep. As you enter the cave, you see two huge red eyes shine. You quickly get used to the darkness of the cave and see a large minotaur before you. Suddenly, he charges at you. He's a minotaur? As an underage? Ouch! Oh, oh my god! Wow. All right, can I get about 400 more of those uh, sling stones, please? <laughs> I hope he doesn't summon anybody and he's just a huge sponge of hit points. He seems to be at the front, so yeah, it looks like Sponge. You better do all that cold damage. He's 20% weak to it. I'm stacked with it, so we'll give it a try. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, God. And he's opened uh, healing damage, too, so... Or holy damage. Holy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Don't need that. Sure. I only have four, so I'll get rid of the rend. Or how long do you think this fight's gonna go on for? <laughs> <laughs> uh, two, yeah. two, four rounds. He kills you in the first round. He kills Ranger in the second round. He kills Wizard in the third round, and he kills the Priest in the fourth round. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't mind the round on the the rend on this one with the eight bleed on this. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're going to want to stack as much of stuff on him as we can. I'll discard Colossal Blow to use it later on. Hopefully it goes back into the... Oh, no, it's just going to go into the discard pile. Okay. Yep. It'll be at least three uh, rounds, probably four or five before you see it again. You're not going to get it off anyway, so... Yeah, I'll do that. All righty. <clears throat> hmm. He's at a 16. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, we might be able to get somebody ahead of him. Nope. I mean, by the time, if you get Howl and anything else uh, lands, we might be able to swap the order. Yes, that is true. Now, now, no spoilers. We've never seen this guy, so don't don't tell us what he has. <laughs> All I can say is he's horny and radar's closest to him. <laughs> You get it? The big horns all over? And we'll intercept on... Jeez, I don't know. Mage. Helping hand... The cleric? Yeah. Sure. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Something tells me he's gonna do more than 14 points of damage. <laughs> I need to see what he did. Damaged by others, gain Charge a fury. Blood. More damage done, suffers a bleed. Increased his speed. He already has five fury, so he's doing 15% more damage, but will suffer five bleed. So the more oh. we hit him, the more damage he'll do, but the more damage he'll take at the start of his turn. So he, yeah. He's and he's fast. He's faster than me now. All right, well, that's uh, me, my turn. Got some heals, I got some good heals. Got one flash, I got one barrier. Uh, nobody's taking significant damage. Just taking some light. This one. Don't. Divine, the ranger first. Then I can flash. If he eats everything, how did he get the earrings? Well, actually, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, they're horn rings. I don't mean to sound pretentious with that. Barrier. Where's his attack so far? Front self self. So well, I'm wondering if he's going to be front primary. I'm going to guarantee he's got an AOE of some kind. No, oh, for sure. All right, I'm doing myself then. himself a bit there. Ball of fire. <clears throat> There's nobody on the sides. It's not worth as much. Might be worth to tap that evasion then. Thirteen bleed on him. Jeez. Plus an additional eight at the beginning of his next turn. Additional nine. Oh, you're talking about the self-immolation. Yeah, the Fury. At the end of his turn, he'll gain additional bleed, but he'll do, you know, more damage before that. 33%. My goodness. Mm-hmm. 13 points a turn. I'm not worried about his 33. I'm looking at that 13 point. <laughs> I don't know, 33 damage on, you know, a 20 damage attack? It's gonna hurt me. Six points, be 26. 33%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what we need is some big shields. But we're doing okay, got the, everybody's got their... Hit points in good place. And we're about 120 points into it. Adrenaline initiative melody rupture. Whoever you want to target for the initiative. Because you still gain that stanza regardless. I can get you ahead of him. 
Well, yeah, that would do it, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's always good. Get rid of the bleed. <clears throat> Rupture and then hide yourself. Yep. Or hide myself and then rupture, so I'm visible again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do it properly this time. Follow up. Fast strike. Reckless charge. Discard. The intercept. Take the defend. That was pretty good. That worked. All right. <laughs> Glad I had all that extra <laughs> block. Wow. 50% more damage now. Front hero stomp. A random hero slash. That was a random. And it randomly chose me. So front, front, and a random so far. All right. I am slowed below him now. At this point, the spry is going to be the best. That awesome. Hero character. Oh, that's a hero. That's right. I don't want to take the spry. I want the player points on it. But. I don't want to spend two points. So, the wizard. Spry the wizard. Um, I kind of like it all. Okay. Not a lot of damage. Actually, we'll get rid of that. All right. Well, don't. I think I need to do the gigantic heal. You nah, nah, barrier like me then? <sighs> At some point, my conversation will complete. Please raise your hand before speaking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try that again. So, but if I don't use it, it goes into the discard pile, right? If I don't have enough points, or does it go back into the draw pile and shuffle? It, what, what do you mean? If at the end of my turn I don't have enough points so I don't cast it, what happens to it? Goes to the discard pile. So it's going to go to discard no matter what I do. No, you if you, energy. you cast it, it's going to be used and disappear from the, the rest of the combat. It True. does go into the discard pile. Whatever's in your hand gets discarded if you don't use it. I'm 49, so that's way, way more. You're supposed to do a but, prediction, not a poll, Vorm. But it does... The speed, oh, that's a five speed, too. Five speed might be worth it just to get somebody else. Them. Who dies first? Um, I don't think we need it. I think the spark of life, just to give it a try and see what it does. Nah, save your energy. Well, then just the barrier? Just the barrier. All right, got to protect the wizard, though. We'll do a two-minute <laughs> prediction instead of a poll, Vorm. This What's the is... difference? Uh, the prediction, they wager channel points. Uh, the yeah. poll is just whatever your chat just votes on. Well, they can also spend points for extra votes. Yeah, this way they can get more duct tape if they predict correctly. That's gambling. Exactly. Gambling That's with illegal. no real... I want to report Real you stuff. Now. Confirm Can prediction. Uh, My goodness, that 18 is getting awfully big. <laughs> is it? Oh, wait a minute. There are cards that remove that. There are, yes. Oh, and I think I have one. Oh, gotta find it now. All right. Does it target monsters or heroes? Found myself. Cards. 
drop on. There it is. Clarity. Oh, it's hero. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Back in front of him you go. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Will that matter? It won't. Unless I shield bash. There's no reason not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Plus it does a, what is it, a rend or an armor debuff? Yeah. Yeah. This is down five. All resistance is minus five. There's all your damage in one place. <laughs> yeah, but do I barricade? So far, we're holding up pretty good. I wouldn't worry about the barricade. I would get the damage in. All right. So the two and the two. Here comes the hurt. Yeah, but it's just you. <laughs> well, that that one was a little more energetic. Open That's his gold wild card, whirlwind. He only gets to use once. Let's see. Yep. Nine nine damage to all heroes repeat. Twenty seven damage to all heroes. Alright, time to stack up that cold damage. He takes thirty percent more. Yep. We shall be doing so. I'm all geared up for it this round. Alright, Squall first. Uh, 28 from that, 26 from that, but he also keeps stacking up the cold chill resist. And I won't be able to transmit anybody if I do that. Hmm. Well, I'm at 3 plus whatever I get, so I'm fine. <laughs> The electric discharge does give you an extra energy next turn, though. Yep. See, there's that purge I was looking at. Unfortunately, it's hero only. I'd like to. I want yeah. to drop that on him. <laughs> so. All right. I've got heal. I've got flash heal. I've got a big ward. I think I'm dumping everything, or close to it. All right. Jeez. This is crazy. <laughs> Everybody needs it. Except if only wizard. we had that uh, jump heal. That'd be a good one here. Yeah, I don't know how useful it is, but... Okay, gotta go to the front. Gonna take 14 bleed damage. Oh, that's rough. Brain I'm gonna try to look in my draw pile. Yeah. Blade Storm, Intimidate, and Rend, which I can cast only one of them. Yeah. I can do a minor heal on myself or holy smite him for 24. Holy smite him. Yep. One of my few attacks. We got 45 bleed stacked on him now. Yep. And I've got another 10 coming his way. Oh, every time he loses a hit point? Oh, no. How how does he how is that going up? Every time he gets hit? It, it goes down one each turn. We're yeah. adding twenty and it loses one. We add twenty, it loses one. So if we don't add any, it's gonna go forty five this round, forty four the next round, forty three the next round. So we just we, the, we'll kill him sorry, if we ahead. just outlast him. <laughs> yeah. The Fury's gonna add another thirty one at the end of his turn. I think. Oh, he's just going to suffer an additional 32 bleed, so... 45 plus 32 bleed, but he's doing almost double damage now. Here you go. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Heal that bleed. Get some more marks on him. The seven regen was pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. Stacking up some more bleed. Doing good. Got him down to 270. And he got a 22 shield to start with, so. Do that, and we're going to blade storm him. Yeah, blade storm. And helping hand. Hmm. Everybody's pretty much out of energy. What cards you got left? You have a focus heal with no healing. Got barrier, flash, holy smite versus Evelyn's. Got some frost bolts. I'll do the the mage. You'll know, get more use out of it right before I get nuked here. Double. Oh god. <laughs> well, good thing somebody put a shield on you. Yeah. Uh, since you don't seem to put it on yourself. Yeah, I didn't draw any. You're supposed to have the, the, the blocks, and you like, don't seem to have very many. I like the way the bleed effect wiped out his shield and did a, did a bunch of damage to him. Agreed. <clears throat> we gotta nuke him before he goes again, though. 177 is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> he only has effect... Well, he only has effectively 128 health. Oh, so if you get him to 128, he'll kill himself with the... With the bleed. Or if we survive, he'll probably kill himself with the 75 bleed after well, that. That he's, got him to about half dead. He, he's <laughs> probably not going to survive the round, because everybody's going to... Well, your warrior's not going to get a turn, but... Yeah. Uh... I'm hoping to get a heal or two in here, but... You don't have any heals. If I, get any, healing rain. if I get any kind of damage cards on the ranger, on the scout, he's going to go down. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Wasted, and what do you have wasted. left for draw? Adrenaline, oh. Hunter's Mark, Aim Shot. Oh, shot. junk. Yep, you don't have any good cards left. Got the flash is the only thing I've got. Yeah, flash, barrier, and... I wouldn't even use the healing oh. rain. Why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> well, go ahead and drop the flash. He will die in round five, guaranteed. Yep, the only question is whether or not they'll die with the ranger or the scout. Mm hmm That'd be preferable. <clears throat> hey, ranger, do something to him. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, except for the part where I have two energy. More marks for you, buddy. Hunter's mark and aimed shot. That should kill him because he'll bleed out the two... Two energy aimed shot. Got 49, 59, 65. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. There we go. 46, he'll bleed for 49. Nice. Well, since nobody died, I guess I'll just refund the prediction. <laughs> oh my god, there's some gold cards in the wizard row. And even penance. one in the cleric row. That one's broke. Yeah, because the cleric's got to do penance. <laughs> oh, check this one out. Pandemonium. 18 yeah. damage to all. Yep. You're, you're not focused perfect. on that stuff. Well, even the penance, though, is pretty lame. Well, unfortunately, I guess I'll have to delete the points. I should have had an option there for we all survive. What the hell is the deal with his penance? Two costs just to do 12 holy damage on a single that's monster? And it's a gold card? Ridiculous. 
All right, click on you it. You have more. buffs with um, bless. It'll do more damage with each stack of bless. So instead of 12, it could be okay. 15, or Hold it could on. be 18. How do you know that? I'm, I'm looking at the whole thing, and it says penance, monster, deal four, repeat twice, holy spell. Yes, the description Nowhere. of bless, which you can get from other cards that you have, increases your damage done by one per charge. But straight up, a two damage card for four is, isn't worthwhile. It, it's worth it if you're stacking bless bonuses on yourself from other cards. Yes. So it's a support exactly. card that requires you have invested in stacking blesses up. Because the blesses are going to increase those numbers rapidly if you get stacks of them on you. So it's not good straight up looking at it. It's great if you can stack a bunch of blesses on yourself. I've got to take it, but I, I don't think it's a very worthwhile card on first look, so... Hmm. Tedious poem. Acrobatic strike. That's interesting. Whoa, tedious poem. Five yeah. mana? Requires stanza. Is that two or eleven? <laughs> two or higher. Two. Turn bleed into poison. Huh. That's interesting. Carnage does six and a bleed and repeat twice. 18 and three bleed for two damage. That doesn't seem out all that bad. That might be for a tank, but. Ooh, barbed wire. Two. Two thorns for all heroes. It's interesting for no cost. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm I'm looking at the cleric now with that. At the end of the battle, you'll heal three, and starting to think it's time to replace that. Because <laughs> three hit points is not a whole lot. Grant two energy per charge. You suffer eight damage. Yeah, Strange but it's, card. It's, you use one charge to gain two, so it's a way of gaining an extra energy charge. Yeah. Which, if you're running high cost deck, could be important to get that one point in there. And if you've got sheet, actually, block doesn't stop that damage type. You'd need the other uh, <laughs> protection. So you can oh, damage know. can be blocked and is not affected by other modifiers. For dark. Well, actually, it's a transfer. I can cast it on somebody else, so I can transfer one of my points to somebody else. I'm gonna go That's ahead and take it. true. It's not a self. Um, I'll take the free barbed wire, I guess. Yeah, it can be pretty big. Okay, we survived the 627-point minotaur. <laughs> Money. Hey. Woo. Look at that. 200 experience and three chests. It's not too bad. And equipment. Minotaur horn. Oh, edge and of a fury red, plus and two a, damage. And a red cape. Look at that red cape. Mm, my breastplate's still oh. better. Hey, bandages, that's the upgrade for Makem. Uh, is that a two taunt on him? Yep. I think we should force Radar to wear that. Uh oh, I, I'll take the two taunt, sure. I was thinking of taking the Edge of Fury. You'll get a slight, res slight reduction in the uh, hit points and the resistance, but you'll also lose that negative one speed, and you gain a boatload of shield and taunt. So, yeah. Oh. I think the what? I think the red cape for the warrior. There's six hit points and eh, four resistances, but you start with shields and the two taunt. That'd be interesting. Unfortunately, interesting. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a theory. That theory could be interesting, too. Yeah. I take bleed at the end of my turn. Oh. And you have a way of purging it if it gets out of control. I have one card that can purge it. Yeah. It'll come up eventually before I bleed too much, though. It it's just, a matter of do I we want to me to do more much damage. I'm healing you. <laughs> yeah. Do we want me to do more damage, or do we want me to tank more? Which one? I don't know. We're heading into unknown territory, so I don't know. Because we haven't seen this map yet, what we really need to focus on. Pick whichever one you want. I'll take the taunt. Alternatively, someone else could take the Edge of Fury. The Raider Slicer might also be good for that, uh, for the scout. Plus two damage when you play a melee attack, draw a card. I've removed most of the melee attacks out of my deck. Oh, okay. In that case, Edge of Fury, then? Or do you have any of that uh, piercing damage still? Slashing damage, whatever. Nah, most of my slashing damage is gone. Goblin Amulet? Edge of Fury! <laughs> I mean, sure. For just for the plus two damage. Nah. You're never going to do that kind of damage. Ah, uh, true. Uh, I don't see anything for her. I'm just going to take the money. And make them bandages. Well, look at the horn. I'm looking at the Minotaur horn. Make him already has the combat bandages. Oh, true. Well, and it's you the your the combat bandages. I think the horn is what you want. So, yeah. What I've got right now is combat bandages for three. This would be a four, so it would be slightly better. But the horn increases my hit points by 10. And then whenever I heal, it's now it's who's getting the buff. I don't know. But. You get the uh, damage output the, or the heal buff. Pretty, and... sh pretty sure the target is going to get the two additional bonuses. Yeah, so the target gets powerful in regen. So, I mean, I think the horn is the way to go on that one because I was thinking about swapping out that bandage anyway. Yep, go for the horn. Sure. Campsite. Uh, no, no. Uh, can there, we do it's, that? It's not letting us go south. We're screwed. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, now we can't complete our mission. I thought the uh, path node being slightly to the right of the northern cave one would let us come down. I checked earlier and it did say it could go down. I don't know why it's yeah. not. Well, if you, if you point at the node, uh, the node you're going to, yeah, however. Yeah. Oh, it goes up. You go up to it from the bottom. It goes up. It's weird. Yeah, right, we, well, we, 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 we have no Dang choice, it. so. 